Alright, round two. Back with that sucky performance. And an, a sucky hand to go with it. Morgan. Uh, I guess we're gonna keep this. It's got a mana dork. I'm, so I'm not super worried. Plus, there's the. Yeah, scry put it on top. But it doesn't matter if we put it on the top or not. Whatever, it makes me feel better. Let's put it on top. Um. Dumping ground, probably, is what to start off with. It's not the worst hand in the world if we draw out of it. At any rate, Noble Hierarch keeps us on to curve. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I, I lost to a good Storm player, so I'm not super salty. I'm a little salty, but not super salty, because that guy was uh, generally, like, good. Most people just would have went for it and lost, and he did not. He kept his cool and, and did everything, I think, correctly. Um, damn, that land would have been awesome. I think part of me wants to just bolt here, but I think I got to um, cast the Goyf just so that I can have some aggression, and then next turn, if I still am stuck on lands, I can at least bolt here. Um, I, I wish I could have bolted that Noble Hierarch. Nothing good comes from a Noble Hierarch, especially if it's uh, going to turn into a nice spell skate, huh? And then a mirror, sure. That stinky poo poos. Um, that stinky stinky poo poos. And there's nothing I can really do about it, so I guess I just attack. Yeah, right. I just attack. If he's got if he's got the way to win, he's got the way to win. At least I can. Um, at least I can make a bolt, change targets. Path really is sort of the best thing I can draw at this point. But even then, I'm, I'm not getting out of this pretty easily. All right, well, now I've got a bolt in hand. Uh, so we'll see if if we've got if he's got the win. Do you have the win? Question mark. I'm not gonna block with my noble hierarch because I'm already so low on mana. You know. You know. Uh, but yeah, this, this turned out to be a crappy hand for a crappy, crappy thing. For crappy ton. I mean, there's nothing I'm doing about it. If he's got, if he's got the, the way to, to, to change it all up, sure, whatever. Go for it. You got it. Do it. Immunogenic growth, you're in there. Four. You got a way to make a dull strike? Yeah, okay. Concede game. <laughs> Nothing I could do about that. Alright, let's bring in the Spell Skite. Let's bring in the Collected Company. Let's bring in the Grim Lava Mancers. Let's bring in the Negates. Let's bring in the Denials. Let's bring in the Thalios. Oh my god, we've got so much that we could bring in here. Um, and we're basically going to turn into just Super Hate over here. Um, it doesn't matter if we've got Gigantic stuff. The combo is not going to matter because we're not going to combo off. Although we could use Retreat to Coral Helm to tap down something, arguably. Um... Arguably, we could. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the uh, Geists, which aren't so great here. The Voices, which aren't so great here. The Oozes, which aren't so great here. The Smiter, which is not super good here. And there's two things left in my deck, so I guess the Retreats. See you later, Retreats. I loved you, but not anymore. Alright, I guess that's what we're going to bring in. We could also bring in the Mind Sensors. I guess they're better than Knight because they can block. Especially since we don't have the combo in there. Although Knight feeds Knight feeds my Grim Lava Mancers. Um No, I guess Knight feeds the like, Grim Lava Mancers. So I'll take the Knight. Let's see what happens. Alright, we're back. Hi guys, we're back. Lots of knights and nothing else. Oh Jesus, we're just gonna die if we take keep this hand, right? All right, this at least can go into a collected company. I guess I'll keep it. I can scry at least. I can 
kept seven cards. I guess we'll keep it and we'll put this on what the bottom because it doesn't matter. It's going to come in a turn too late. Hopefully we'll get like a bolt instead. Um. Yeah, we'll start on stomping ground. This way we have access to just thinning down our library slightly. Doesn't matter for our, our life total anyways. Okay, hope we don't draw a blank. Either we gotta draw aggression right here, or we gotta draw removal. Come on, spell sky. Well, negate is something. It's not nothing. I guess I'll hit yes. Because, again, life total doesn't really matter here. And we'll just attack for one. Because, you know, we that's aggression. That's aggression. so aggressive. Spell Sky, sure. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Path to Exile. That's something good to do about that, I suppose. And just leave it. Let's see what he's got here. Here's an Ink Moth Nexus. Is he trying to go for like an Ink Moth Nexi kill? All right, you have a Thalia, sir. You decided not to attack with the Ink Moth next eye. Sure. We're gonna go for just putting out the Collected Company. Well, maybe we'll grab something. Interesting. Well, that's not super great, but hey, we got a little bit of uh, interactivity in our hands, so it's not the worst. We've been in, in worse situations. Tarmogoyfs. Um, Kazakh Wolf Run and Sinjiri Step don't really do anything in this matchup. We want to keep up two mana and a three mana, so we don't actually need this to come into play. I mean, if he if he pumps up his what spell skite and attacks, I'd I'd like to not die to it. So, uh, two mana, one mana, and play that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do here. And with these triggers, we actually have a clock, so it's not the worst thing in the world. If you can block with the spell sky, that's not where he wants to be, though. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and put down a Tarmogoyf. We're not dead here, at any rate. Because we can at least pat the exile. We can counterspell. Okay. He's going to animate that Ink Moth. Sure. We're just trying not to get hit with lethal. Alright. He did some life total changing. Okay. Go for it. You're in there for one effect, man. Two effects. You're in there for two effects. I just gotta make sure you don't kill me. I can make you take two life at least by pathing you with an Ink Moth Nexi spell skate trigger. This guy probably will get up to 3 4. So we've got 6 damage. 6 plus 2 is 8. Sure. That's not lethal yet, so I'm okay with that. Alright, again, that's not lethal, so I, I guess I'm okay with it. Can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. 
Oh, but he kicked it, so that would be lethal. So we're going to go ahead and path in response. Force him to change it to spell sky. Which then it becomes lethal once we negate the the vines fastwood here. Or he lets it get pathed, in which case we are very likely to win the game now. Yep, go for it. And negate the Vines of Astrid. So we have now Xaxes to win the game. Well, not Xaxes. Although, could I cast a Wolf Run to, to win the game here? I could. He can block this, which would stink, because then that would go through. However, if we attack. With only this, we have 5 damage, and we can Keswick Wolf run to win the game. I think that is the answer here. You gotta block, right? You kinda have to block. And if you don't, I'm just gonna cast a cool front anyways. Cause we can cast a cool front for one, two, three, four. So we'll go way over. Unless he's got Path to Exile in hand. Which would be blowout! <laughs> Oh, you could pump in his dude in response, uh, but if he pumps his dude in response, then we're still not dead unless he has more pump spells in hand. Okay, no blocks. Let's try it. There's the Kessick Wolf run. I mean, yeah, he's going to attack in the air, so it doesn't matter. We just got to go full on in case something crazy were to happen here. I guess you could Vines of Vastwood just without the kicker, my own dude. That's possible to do. Nope. Nope. That's it. So he had a couple outs. If he had a Path to Exile, that would be an out. Also, if he had a... Um, if he had a... Uh, I could have, I guess pretended that I had open two mana for a negate again uh, for a path to exile. He could have also uh, did a Vines of Vastard without a kicker. Can't be the target of spells your ability is your opponent's control. It's not hexproof, so my Tarmogoyf wouldn't actually have gotten the pump in response to that. So, meh, worth, worth noting. We didn't lose. <laughs> Congratulations, guys! We didn't lose! We played the game correctly. <laughs> All right. Do we change anything in the sideboard? Do we put every mind sensor back in? No, I don't think we do. Um. Jeez. Do we mulligan so that we can get some some interactivity, or do we just go for the aggression? That's a tough choice here. Um. We might draw into uh, the interactivity. This is a pretty good hand if he's dependent on attacking with a uh, with a um, ink moth nexi. Then actually, we've got an all right hand here. We'll, we'll keep this. You know, we got a draw to go through this. It's not it's not the worst hand. It could be way worse, as we saw earlier, and we could just barely win by the skin of our teeth. Pendlehaven. All right, noble hierarch. That's. Uh, start that I can deal with. Path to Exile, cool, we drew into something. Um, let's go ahead and start taking away 
land draws by fetching correctly. Temple Garden? Yes, Temple Garden. Sometimes you do gotta be careful because they can just use their pump spells on their, like, Noble Hierarch and win the game. It's possible. I've seen it done before. Um... All right, so cool. There goes that option. That kind of stinks. Noble Hierarch. We kind of need to hope we don't die, I think. He's got three cards in hand, so he'll have four cards in hand. He's got an Ink Moth Nexi. Um, he could theoretically go for one, two, three. Four, five, six. But we gotta clear the way for ourselves, I think, here. So we gotta basically attack. Or just leave this open to block. Make him use some pump spells. Or use it on the Ink Moth Nexus. And then we can blow up with the Quasali Pride Mage and path next turn. No, we can't blow up with the Quasali Pride Mage and path next turn. Alright, we can't attack. We know that much, at least. We can put down the Quasali Pride Mage and, um... We need to, we need to get red. And then we'll do this. And we're not going to attack. We're going to leave it open so that way we have a blocker. This way, the only way that he can really hurt us is with Ink Moth Nexus through the air, but even that's going to be um, dependent on what mana he has. Like, he could do the Pendlehaven and just only attack with the Glistener Elf, which would be a 3-4 then. Um, I still have to block with the Nakatl. But this opens us up the most. That way we can um, path to exile and blow up Quisali Pride Mage next turn at the same time. I don't think he's going to want to trade his Glistener Elf. And to do this uh, means that he can't attack with the Ink Moth Nexi. Alright, well now he can just straight up attack with the Glistener Elf as, as long as he just uses his Pendlehaven. But he can't, he's got to use his Pendlehaven now, he can't use it before uh, attacks. Alright, so he's in there. Alright, so it's going to be, what, 4-5? I think I have to let that go through. I mean, he can give it... If he's, he's got... He's pretty low on cards in hand. I think I have to let that go through. And just hope I get, like, a bolt or something. Well, I mean, that's pretty crappy. That's pretty crappy for us. That's for damn sure. Alright, so I need path mana, this mana. The Noble Hierarch isn't going to die in this matchup. Um, I guess we'll just take life for it. Pay for Noble Hierarch pass the turn again.
We're gonna have to see how he how he situates this. We're gonna try to we ha we're gonna have to kill off the blighted agent because that can't be blocked. And at the at worst, we can block with a Birds of Paradise over here on the Ink Moth Nexi. Plus, Ink Moth Nexus dies to everything, including our Quasali Pride Mage Hate. Plus, if he attacks with everything, he's not going to be able to, to pump and, and do his shenanigans with Glistener Elf. To kill me, at any rate. And then at that, if, if Glistener Elf is the last thing around, then I can block for days with Knight. Or even with Ink Moth Nexus is the last thing around. Although, granted, he probably draws um, stuff to pump it. I mean, he's already got a he's already got Pendlehaven, you know? If he attacks with just Ink Moth Nexus, I'm forced to try to blow up the Ink Moth Nexus with uh, the Quasali Pride Mage, which he'll shift to the Spellskite, and then I've got a path the Ink Moth Nexus, which leaves the Blighted Agents I, that I can't block anyways. Um, but arguably a little bit less worse for wear. Okay, so he's gonna do that. And that would be four. Not quite enough. Um, I think I, I gotta do it, even though I, he probably has the vines of Vastwood in his hand. All right, I think I, I think there's no other out here. I mean, I guess he could vines the, the Spellskite, and that would be pretty crappy for me. Let's see what happens. If he's got the vines of Astrid, there's nothing I can do. Um, okay, so he doesn't have the vines of Astrid. That doesn't stop my problem whatsoever. I still have one blocker. Um, and another Blighted Agent to stare down now. Okay, so we have a negate. That's actually all right here. Suppose I attack. Because I can only block with one thing, anyways. So. Try to get some damage in there. Ooh, I can't. I can't actually do that. I gotta pay two. No, no, no. I've got enough mana. I've got enough mana. What am I talking about? Yeah, I got enough mana. Put the Nether Quarry out there. Nether Quarry arguably can block Listener Elf a little bit better than most other things that, that can be blocked. Alright, that's a land. Not super great here. Sure. He's, he's in there. Nothing I can do about the Blighted Agent. Okay. Yep, that's four. Yep, nothing I can do about that. Alright. He's got one card left in hand. This is probably a land. So I don't I don't know what to do to live here. I got a block on the ground, obviously. But all he's got to do is attack with a uh, Ink Moth Nexus. I don't think I, there's any way of coming back from this one. We just sort of got the wrong cards. Alright, cool. Well, there's one less thing that I need to All he's got to attack is a Bladed Agent, and I can't do anything with it. So, um, I guess we will let him fail if he chooses to do so. And have the race ready. I think I played everything correctly. I don't think there's anything else I could have possibly done. I 
Like, yeah, that's all he's got to do, and we got to concede now. Um, yeah, there is there is nothing I could have done in that situation. I have a negate. It's a couple turns too late already. It's really the spell skite that killed me. Plus, he just had lots of infect creatures. Normally, it doesn't go down that way, but that's that's I guess that's what happens. <laughs> 